Hi, I'm Mary and this is Dreamy Goat Design Studio and this video is day two of dyeing with a ferrous sulfate indigo vat. Okay, I'm actually going to start dipping right now and then talk a little bit while these cotton streamers are in the vat. So if you want to come up and take a look at what we're doing, I've already got other cotton streamers in here. Uh, they have been put in at different times so that when I take them out, there will be some streamers that will have been in here 15 minutes, some 10 minutes, and then this, this set will have been in here about five minutes. Um, as you can see, I use these little weird things called beetles. They serve me well at times like this. And while these guys are in here, let me do a little bit of talking and showing. Okay, the first thing, I don't think that we're gonna get much variation on these three differently timed sets of cotton streamers because I've been uh, using up a lot of the indigo already. This is a small vat. Remember, I only put in 20 grams of indigo to begin with, and 20 grams is less than an ounce, okay? So if you do want to uh, dye, let's say, a, a real hefty, absorbent cotton t-shirt, make a bigger vat. Why do I say that? Well, let's take a look. This is what I did this morning. Now, these are three lightweight cotton pennants. Look at the little star at the bottom, at the end. These are from Dharma Trading Company. I dipped these in a brand new, fresh, ferrous sulfate vat. I dipped this for 15 minutes, and I'm getting it wet again. I dipped, took it out, dipped this for 15 minutes. I did it a third time. Took this one out and dipped this in, the, in this same vat. Now look at the difference, a lot of difference between the three. And so I caution you that this small bath that we made will go light probably pretty fast. But aren't these beautiful blues? I really like this particular bath. But one thing, I didn't have to use um, a stock, okay? I made the bath as is. It went faster, it was easier. The second reason why I like it is, is that it's called uh, is what's called a cold vat, which is not does not mean you want it cold, you just want it at room temperature, and I don't have any heat underneath it, okay? This morning, I think it was 43 degrees outside, I warmed it up to about 80, and now it's at about 70 degrees, which I call room temperature. So, here's the one disadvantage to this um, that I have found so far, and again, we have the last of the summer little flies flying around. The disadvantage is, or the, the thing you need to be cautious about, is that you really don't want to let the fibers hit the bottom where the sediment is. And that's because it's even harsher than the, than the uh, fructose fats. The calcium hydroxide and the ferrous sulfate bond, and you get actually both plaster and ferrous oxide, which is another name for rust. So if you have these touch the bottom, you're going to stain your fiber or your fabric. Now, what are mine doing? They are, <laughs> this is what I use. If you're doing something small, you can just use something, you know, a strainer, something like this. You've seen this before. But if you're doing something bulky, and you don't want to just hold it uh, for forever, this is a new steamer, vegetable steamer. This replaces what's in here, an old funky vegetable steamer that doesn't have this, and doesn't have these three legs. In fact, Roger took the three off and put in four uh, two inch long screws. That's right, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. And that two inches of height lifts, hopefully, lifts up any fiber that's sitting on this above the sediment. So it has worked for me so far, okay? That is the only thing I've found so far that we really need to be careful of when we use this fat. Now let's see what time we have. We are at 13 minutes and 45 seconds. And so um, I think I'm gonna to start to take them out. And I predict that they're not gonna be that much difference in color. So because I intend, now actually if you come back up here, Roger, you can see, because I intend to uh, revitalize this vat by making a little stock a little amount of the one, two, three ingredients, one part indigo, two parts uh, calcium, uh, 
uh, ferrous sulfate and three parts calcium hydroxide, I will feed that into this bat and kind of make a new bat. And I want that sharpness of blue uh, when we go to do a few simple shibori techniques. But that means that right now I don't care if I imbalance this bat if I put a lot of oxygen in it. So let's take these guys out. There's a fair few of them in here. I think there's like 20, 21 streamers, and don't ask me why I'm doing these. It's kind of crazy. But you'll notice I'm letting the, the uh, water drip back into the vat, which means I will be putting oxygen into it, and that's okay because, like I said, I plan to rebalance them. So let's stick them in the water, which we always want to do. And while these are aerating in the water, and I don't know what just happened, but we won't worry about it, I'm going to move these guys over and bring these out. Now I think I will also do some silk a little later. You'll see that when um, uh, we go to the next video, which will be, like I said, some simple shibori techniques. Okay, this is the first set. This is at about 14 minutes, I guess. Didn't quite think 15. And what I need to do, and will, when the, when the video is over, I will open these up every one of them and I will kind of take some time and just kind of try to get them get these little guys completely opened up and therefore completely exposed to air right now I'll just kind of show you that this is a fairly light blue and then this was about 10 minutes yeah I'm gonna have a mid-range blue on these which means that this little uh, ferrous sulfate bat with just the 10 grams of excuse me, 20 grams of indigo. Um, doesn't get us very far, but I do like it a lot. Okay, so you can see the difference. These will dry lighter anyway. Wow, this is, this is really light. Oh, I do like these. And I'll tell you next time if I think about it what I'm gonna use these for. But see, that must that didn't even get even exposed particularly to the indigo. So uh, five minutes is probably too, too short of a time. I would say at least 10. Okay, so I will open these up, take my time doing so, let them, let them dry overnight like these pennants, and then I will wash them to uh, get the excess uh, indigo out and also to reduce, to lower the alkalinity. And that's that, is that sweet and simple? Um, I'll see you in a few days. We'll have a new bath and we will be doing some shibori techniques. Okay, thank you. Bye.